In this video, we're going to look at the Explore tool in Google Sheets. It is a really cool tool where you can quickly get answers that you are looking for without doing a whole lot of extra work. So like for example, let's say that I wanted to look at this growth pre-post-test score. When I click on this column and then I go down to the bottom of my screen, there is an Explore, Open Explore. And I click on that Open Explore and it automatically gives me the descriptive statistics right here the sum, the average score, the minimum score, the max score, and the count. You can also then ask questions here. It gives you some ideas. So for example, count when um, the IEP score is a yes. So how many IEPs do I have? That's all that's going to do that. What percentage of sex under here is female? What is the average growth for each race? Ooh, that one looks cool. Let's try that one. So I'm going to click on the average of growth pre-post for each race. And when I click on that, it gives me an answer. This is called a pivot table is what it's giving me. So when I look at this pivot table here, it says that um, if, if the race was American Indian or Alaskan um, Native, um, it's giving me an average of 3.5. If the race is Asian, it's giving me an average growth of 3.7. So this is going to give me this average growth. Um, you can also look at the chart here, too, and it will give me a, a chart of the average growth scores here. But let's say that I want to do a little bit more work with this. So now I'm going to click on Insert the Pivot Table. And when I go to insert, I can create a new sheet or use the existing. So I'm going to do a new sheet because it gives me a little more room. And now I can more easily just see those numbers. But I can also do some additional work here. So right now I'm looking at race and I'm looking at this average score. So these are the values and this is the rows. But um, I don't know how many students are in here are in this area. So I don't know, for example, um, my Asian students did had a, a fairly good growth of American Indian. Look at my, my African American students did really well. Um, my Hispanic and Latino student Latina Latino students didn't do very as quite as hot. So what I'm wanting to do is to figure out though what kind of numbers of students are we looking at. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and count these students and I've just learned from the years that I can either count them this way um, or I could just say growth pre post test and so it doesn't really matter here because it's just going to count well let's just try it this way I'm going to put the growth pre post here but instead of doing the average I'm going to do the count and then when I do the count now it tells me that there were two students here there were 7 here, 22 here, 17 here, and 38 here. So it gives me a little bit better idea that, well, my average, my growth is pretty low here for these students, but there were only two of them. So I might want to go look at those two students and say, hmm, what happened here? Did one of the students just do really well and one did student didn't do quite so well? Did both students do pretty bad, pretty poorly? And so I can go in and, and do that, but now I know that maybe I want to examine that a little bit more. Maybe it's not that the test discriminated or there was something wrong you know, with the, the students here. Maybe there was something else going on. I could also even go in and become go a little deeper here. You notice I have race here, but I could go ahead, for example, and add um, whether or not they had an IEP. So I'm going to pop that in here. And now it's telling me that those, for these um, American Indian students, Native American students, the um, IEP was a no, and that student got, had an, a, a six um, growth, grew by six points. There's only two students, right? One of the students. 
and the other student had an IEP and only grew by one point. Okay. Whereas over here, I can look at uh, my white students. Let's just go down to the white students here. The ones who did not have an IEP grew by 7.89. The ones with an IEP grew by 9.2. There weren't quite as many of them, obviously, but they actually did a little bit better than the, than the white students here. Um, Hispanic, you can look at that. The scores, there were five IEPs, and those five students did a little better than the 12 students without an IEP. So that might make me want to go look at those students and see if there was something else going on. But that score is really close. I mean, those are two really close scores. These scores right here were pretty far apart, though. Look at this. The um, your black or, Af or, or African American, the no IEP, the growth average was almost a 14, whereas um, with an IEP, it was only an 8 or 9. So that's a little bit farther apart, so you might want to look at that a little bit more. Um, you can do all kinds of other things here. I can get rid of the IEP, and I can look at free reduced lunch, pull that one in here, and once again, I can look and see that the students... For example, on free and reduced lunch, the African-American students or black students, um, if they were not on free and reduced lunch, their score, they average an 18.5 or 18.6 growth, whereas if they were on free and reduced lunch, 5.6. So there, there's a big discrepancy in those scores that we would want to look at. So this is how you can use this Explore Though tool and then use that pivot table to then dig in a little deeper. I'm going to go back to my Explore. You can go in here on the Explore and you can ask your own questions as well. So it comes up with some things. It actually came up with a histogram of the scores here. We're going to talk about histograms a little later on in another video. But it just created that and it created some other potential um, charts that might be interesting, but don't necessarily, uh, they're not always the greatest charts. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Um, you can also, of course, then ask, for example, it gives you some more potential here. I could say, for example, um, average of growth pre, post, for each teacher. And now it's telling me that there's the average growth score by the teacher. So you can ask your own questions here. So that is the Explore tool. And then I also talked a little bit about the pivot table. And that will help you to examine your data a little better.